Today we're looking at the power equations and we've already seen that power equals the voltage times by the current which is fine and we also know from our previous understanding that the voltage is equal to the current times by the resistance when current flows through a resistor and the V is a potential difference. We can combine these two equations together to make other equations for power. So if I write out my power equation again, I get power equals V times I, but the V can be replaced with the V from the resistor equation. So that becomes equal to I times R, which is this part here, replacing the V in the power equation times by I, which comes out to be I times R times I is I squared, because it's I times I, times by R. So I can write power is I squared R. That's very useful if you don't know the voltage, if you just know the current and resistance, which is quite often the case. Similarly, I can write my power equation and do power equals V times I, but now I want to replace the current. So up in my resistor equation, I rearrange it to write I equals V over R. And then I put that expression in for my current. So I get V times by V over R. So that part there, which represents the current, is now going in there, which is equal to V times V on the top row, which is V squared, divided by R. So I've got two new equations for power. Power equals I squared R for a current flowing through a resistor, and power equals V squared over R when we know the potential difference applied across a resistor. Let's have a look at some problems. So a resistor marked to uh, 47R, so here's my resistor, and it's marked 47R, and the R means ohms, so it's 47 ohms, limits the current to an LED, which you may as well draw in for completeness sake, to be 200 milliamps, and we should know that 200 milliamps is equivalent to 0.2 amps, because we always work in standard units. Applying our new power equation, it says, what is the power rating of the resistor? So how much power does the resistor have to be able to dissipate? So power equals, well, we have the current and we have the resistance. So we'll use the equation for power equals I squared R, this one here. Power equals I squared R, which equals 0.2 squared times by 47. And that equals, so if we pull up our Windows calculator and we go 0.2 times by 0.2 times by 47 equals 1.88. So it comes out to be 1.88 watts. So the power rating of the resistor would be around about 2 watts, and you can get 2 watt resistors, so it would be a 2 watt resistor that we're using to do that. Let's look at another example. Here we have a 24 volt battery causing a current to flow through a bulb with a resistance of 2.2 ohms. So here's my bulb, it has 2.2 ohms of resistance, the voltage is 24 volts, and the question is, how what power is dissipated by the bulb? So we use our equation power from the very first board. Power equals V squared over R. So it's V squared over R, which equals 24 squared divided by 2.2, which is going to be quite a lot of power by the looks of it. Pull up our Windows calculator again, and we'll uh, get rid of what we had before and we do 24, I'm going to use the squared button this time, divided by 2.2 equals, so that's 261.8, but we're going to be a little bit careful about 
um, how many decimal places we put in there. So we're going to call it 260 watts because my resistance and voltage are only to two significant figures. So I only need two significant figures. So the bulb is a 260 watt bulb and that's how you use the power equations.